One place we haven't visited yet. Um, speaking of visiting, I wonder if we can go back to the uh, nature reserve. I'm scared to go back! Alright, here we go. New area. Hello, father. Greetings, my child. I'm glad you decided to come here. Thanks, shut yeah, up. But just so you know, I'm not here to join your church or anything. Oh, I would never assume that. Good. So, with that out of the way, I have some questions. Anything you need. I'm Isaac Price. Kathy. Kathy Rain, but I'm guessing you figured that out already. Your last name is Price. Rumors spread quickly around here. So how can I be of service? We saw a tombstone with the name of- or a mausoleum with the name of Price at the graveyard. Anyway. Do you know who Franklin Goldfarb is? He's right is? there, by the way. I'm afraid not, my child. Okay. You guys aren't that- aren't that close yet, huh? Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? It was the work of the devil, I'll say that much. Mm. Joseph was a kind man. He did not deserve such a fate. You heard my speech at the funeral, Kathy. I meant every word. He was a great man who did much good for this community. Did you know him personally? In a way. He and my father did charity work together. Joseph was around a lot when I was young. They collaborated on a few different projects for the homeless and for the troubled youth, among other things. So my grandfather was a member of the church? I wouldn't say that, no. He was a friend of the church, but he wasn't a religious man. He believed only in philanthropy. That being said, Joseph was the person who convinced me to become a priest. Really? Oh yes, I was a teenager back then, full of rebellion. Every fiber of my being wanting to distance myself from my father. Joseph made me realize my sinful pride and showed me how I should follow my heart regardless of what others might think. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Hmm. All right then, what? All right. I could, but I think I have more to gain from a subtle strategy. Oh, what? Don't look at me like I'll that, Kathy. I'll keep it to myself for now, until I know more about this church. Don't look at me like that, Kathy. Care to tell me the history of the church? Hey, look up there! I'd be happy to. The story is a fascinating one. I just noticed the, the uh, was founded by stained glass. By William T. Price in the 70s. Back then, he made his living as a traveling salesman and was driving through this area as he'd done so many times before. However, this day was different. My father held dark thoughts in his mind. He was angry, thinking of evil deeds, even considering swerving off the road into a rock and ending it all. Then suddenly, divine intervention. Three bright lights appeared. Mm. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the sign of God. Mm -mm. This epiphany was the moment my father had been waiting for. He sold all of his belongings and took me and my brother to live with him here in Conwell Springs. Soon thereafter, he built this church and started gathering followers. They began to refer to him as Father Bill. I take it that window up there resembles what he saw when he had this epiphany? Indeed. The stained glass window depicts the Holy Trinity as witnessed by my father. Do you know exactly when or where this event took place? Why do you ask? Oh, just curious. It's a captivating story. Well, it was in the spring of 1971, but my father never told anyone where. Mm, okay. I have a feeling I know so where. what happened then? People flocked to Father Bill. He started teaching, writing scripture. The church flourished and continued to grow all the way up until his sudden death in 1983. That's when I stepped in to take leadership of the church. I take it that the church started declining after the death of Father Bill? Uh, yes, naturally so. With such a magnetic personality, he was irreplaceable. But I assure you, the church is still very much thriving. Looks kind of empty to me. Well, it's not service it's hours. Not really, our peak hours. Yeah, come on, Kathy. What's Don't up you know anything about churches? Up pamphlets at funerals, then trying to reel people in at a weak moment. I'm going to assume you meant no disrespect, child. I'm simply providing divine guidance when it's needed the most. You can assume all you want. Interesting. So, 1971, huh? So he saw the same thing that Joseph took a picture of in. I'm assuming 81. Hmm. And then he died in 83, which is around the same time that Jimmy Cochran started going insane and the incident in 81 happened. So it all kind of happened in the span of a couple years. Does the name Lily Myers mean anything to you? It does. I was a substitute teacher in her high school for some time before I was ordained. Really? Did you know her personally? We weren't close. 
I only knew her as much as a teacher would know any student. All right, so how did she seem toward the end? For one, she started skipping school a lot. And when she did show up, she was absent-minded and moody. She always looked depressed and hunched down like she had a whole world on her shoulders. Any idea of what caused this change? Not a clue. All I know is that when she returned from that last summer break, she was a whole different person. Hmm. You don't know who Jimmy Cochran is, do you? Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Probably too young. I don't recognize that name. Yeah. Do you know anything about an art theft at the Wade Estate in the 80s? I have just a vague memory of reading about it in the paper. Hmm. I mean, is there anything else we need to... Uh, I don't think... Let's show him the key. Do you know what this key opens? I'm afraid not, my child. Yeah, I'm just gonna ask everybody about the key, because we've had it this entire That's time. That's for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Uh, okay, anyway. Hi, Goober. Goober, the friendly bum in denial. Listen, I'm sorry about shocking you with the stun gun. Hello again, Goober. You again? Are you stalking me, girl? You pop up everywhere I go. I'll try to tone down the charm, but I can't promise anything. Huh. Right, of course. Yeah, you're quite the charmer. I know. I just said that, man. Listen, I feel kind of bad about the electrocution. Oh, that's what it was. What a cherry on top of my stellar performance. Yeah, it was uh, pretty convincing. So what brings you to the house of God? Come to repent? Mm -mm. I'm afraid that ship has long since sailed, buddy. I had a few things I wanted to ask you about, though. Shoot, Missy! Okay. Listen. Your real name is Franklin Goldfarb, right? Oh, nobody calls me that. Regardless, I know for a fact that you were a witness to a burglary a few years back at the Wade Estate. Yeah, what about it? Why don't you tell me what you saw exactly? I heard the alarm go off, glass break, and then I saw three guys running away, carrying a bunch of stuff. What did they look like? It was dark. I don't know. They were definitely three big three. guys. They, uh... They what? Oh, nothing. That's it. Didn't see anything. What? Else. No, 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 no! No, no, no! Spit it out. What, is, what was it? Well, one of those guys dropped his ring when running away. I sort of pawned it. A ring? What kind of ring? Platinum with an inscription. Two letters. B... Something. B, okay. Man, I don't remember. My photographic memory stopped working in 1979. What happened in 1979? Which pawn shop was that? Pete's Pawning and Plumbing. It closed down a long time ago, though. Owner left town. There's a coffee shop back there now. Too bad. Guess that's a dead end. Thanks anyway. Didn't I see two letters fitting that description recently? Not on a building. It was something small. Did you? BH! Did the inscription on the ring look anything like this? Wow, actually exactly like that. B H. Okay. Great. What a great lead. Any idea what B H stands for? Beehive. Bed high. Big head. <sighs> you're you're very helpful. Know anything about the art? Uh, nope. Nothing at all. I tend to stay away from, you know, crime. Right. Interesting that that didn't lead to any uh, answers, but Franklin Goldfarb did. I don't need to ask him. About well, you know, I just thought I would try. I already asked him about that. I should look into the ring with a B. Didn't I see two? Yeah, yeah. No, we did. We, we already have it written down. Okay, I guess that's just that's a mistake. See ya. Okay, BH. Hey, Isaac, I've got another question for you. Isaac. I'm all ears, my Uh, Yeah, I know you are. Do you know what BH means? It's inscribed on this lighter. I'm sorry, but no. Why do we have it? Weird. That's all I need for now. May the Lord. Okay. An impressive window. There's no doubt about it. Those are the smoky lights. I know. Yeah, what the fuck is it's it? It's an altar. You know, the place where they put the sacrificed goats, kids, and other crap. That's exactly what happens. Could lead to a sacristy or a closet of some kind. Probably can't enter it with uh, Isaac here, right? Uh, probably this one's locked too, right? <laughs> BH. The rabbit hole just goes locked. deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Okay, I don't think that there's anything else to click on here. Bibles. A bunch of red Bibles stacked in neat rows. Maybe we should take one. 
Why don't you pick up one? Come on, Kathy. Just just take I one. I really shouldn't. They might burn. Oh, ha, 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 because you're so evil. Got it. All right, um, who would know about BH? Let's see if we can go back to the nature reserve or if we're just going to run to that dude again. Aha! What? Hello. Creepy bald guy. Guess no one's home. What's this? What is it? The nice red man. A bald man dressed in red. Oh, creepy. Oh, we got to take this to uh to Nathan. Why did someone leave this at the nature reserve? Uh, obviously Nathan was here. The nice red man. So he's seen him too. So it's not just me. But Nathan says he's nice. That is interesting. We'll head straight over there, actually. We haven't been here in a while. Hope they don't mind to them coming over. Is it okay? Oh, it's you again. Come on in. Oh, okay, good. We're on good terms now. What? Where's Nathan? No Nathan today? Nah, haven't seen Nate all day. Probably out in the woods. Shit, what if he disappeared? Come on, do it. Looks like Nathan knows the strange red man. I need to talk to him about this. Looks like Lily did, too. Okay, we gotta ask, uh, Sue about it. Cause she's undoubtedly asked him about it before, who the nice she red man is. Okay, do you know about BH? I don't need to ask her about that. Oh, come on! Fine, give I me don't need to ask. Fine. Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings from Wade? Huh? I knew he got robbed a few years back, but I, I thought he still had them all. Yeah. Huh. I don't need to Well, we already asked her about that anyway. Here we go. Do you know who the Red Man is? Oh, that's just Nate's imaginary friend. The Red Man has been around ever since my boy was little. I see. So there's no actual person in town he could be referring to? <laughs> no way! According to Nathan, the Red Man hasn't changed in 30 years. We've been honest this entire playthrough. Let's let's try it. The red man actually exists. I met him in the forest. What? That's crazy talk. Stop kidding around. I am not in the mood. It's worth a shot. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. Yeah. Even though I was uh, talking to you about the red man and everything. All right. Well, who would know about BH? We could we could ask Grandma. She seems like a good source of information. We also could ask Charles Wade because he might know. I mean, like, okay, so BH is on a ring and a lighter. You think that maybe Charles Wade would know more about someone who manufactures shit like that? Or maybe not manufactures, but, like, would own an expensive thing like a ring and a Zippo lighter. The Zippo lighter could be expensive, I don't know. It's just it's just a lighter, but... Actually, we should have asked Sue about the lighter. I sure am. She's a smoker. Anyway, well, we'll, we'll ask Charles and then if he doesn't I know anything, we'll go back. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on my father's lighter. My guess would be the black hats. A local biker gang. Your father was a member. What? Of course. That makes sense. Thanks. So he knew the black hats. Let's, what let's can ask. You tell me about the black hats. About it. Not much. Their use to stir up all sorts of trouble, but Truman kept them in check. 
What about now? Are they still active? I believe they are, given the incompetence of Sheriff Boyx. I'm sure they're having a field day out there. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah. Not exactly. They have a clubhouse somewhere outside of town, but that's all I know. All right, that's good. Um, do you know about the red man? I don't need to ask. All right, we don't Thanks, need to. Thanks, You're welcome. Good. Um, who could we, I guess we could go to the sheriff's station and ask about the black hats. Probably, I don't think this girl's gonna know anything. What can you tell me about the black hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Bo you know Brunson. Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Thank you, Lenny. Got it. Thanks. New location added! Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? Oh, never mind. That's a that's well, a gotta go. see it. That's a legitimate question. Although I have a feeling that he's some sort of like spirit slash entity. Ooh, is this gonna fill up, or maybe at least go out to here so it doesn't cover up Kathy? Let's go. Let's go. To the black hats. Sweet bud incoming. Like hell I am, I'm nobody's property. You sure? Doesn't she look like a sweet butt? Little slut? I think she does. Whoa! Whoa! Step off, creep. Or what? You tell your daddy on me? Or you'll be scraping your balls off the floor, you fucking pig. <laughs> you think I need my daddy to kick your pathetic ass? <laughs> or you'll be scraping your balls off the floor, you fucking pig. Oh, I love it when they play hard to get. God damn it. Let go of me. Jesus Christ. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha. Fucking idiot. What the hell's going on out here? Nothing, Prez. Just having a bit of fun with this gash here. I suggest you leash that dog of yours. For fuck's sake, Prospect. Not again. Get the hell out of here. Sorry, boss. I'll go. Fuck. That hurt you, cunt. Damn. He's a charming lad, isn't he? I'm guessing you're Bo. He'll be disciplined for that. He better be. I take it you're Bo? I am. And who are you, darling? Kathy Rain. Bullshit. She lives in the city with her deranged mother. Mm -mm. Who are you really? Did the Vandals send you? No, they didn't. I am Kathy Rain. Prove it then. Well, I would, but I left my ID back home. <laughs> That's convenient. I think I've wasted enough time with you. No, I've got I've got I the black hat slider. Something. I got it right here. This proof enough for you? I'll be damned. That's Brian's lighter, all right. Sorry about the paranoia. We've had some problems with the vandals lately. Hmm. I get it. Can't be too careful. So that's your ride out there. Corley Motors, right? 78? 76. You got the same taste as your old man. He always rolled Corley's. Probably the only thing he and I have in common. <laughs> you set up those mods yourself? Looks custom made for your uh, small frame. Yeah, took some time to get the measurements right. I imagine so. Girls like you don't often ride heavy bikes. I'm not most girls. Ain't that the truth. Most girls don't just waltz into places like this either. I guess you'd know. Anyway, I had some questions for you in the club. Go ahead then. Your old man was a good brother, so I'll indulge you for now. All right, then. We've got lots of questions, Bo. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 1981? No, 
We had our differences, me and him, but that's a horrible fate for a man. I'd rather be dead than a vegetable. So I take it you and him didn't get along? No, I could write a book about that man. On one page I'd praise him, on the next I'd want to smash his skull in. He could be a real self-righteous prick when he wanted to, that's for sure. But everyone knew he was the real law around here. Truman was a tool. I respected Joseph, and he respected me. But he hated how Brian looked up to me. Mm. Joseph always blamed the club for the path Brian chose in life. Even though it was just due to him being a shitty father. Wow. I want to hear some elaboration. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. Interesting. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances. None whatsoever. Hmm. That's interesting. That's the first time we've heard anything negative about Joseph Rain in this entire game. Looks like there might be some truth to that, maybe? Do you know anything about Lily Myers? Nothing that anyone else around here couldn't tell you. Great. That's very helpful. Thanks, Duck Dynasty. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. Great. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now, give or take. VP for ten before that. So since 80. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Myers paintings from Charles Wade in 86. What? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. Yes, yeah, seriously. Oh, cut the bull crap. I know it was you. I did some digging and found evidence pointing to the club. Is that so? You better be a good girl and present it to the sheriff then. I couldn't care less about ratting you out, though. I just need to know what you did with the art. I have no intention of discussing your delusions as if they were facts, girl. Don't make me tell you again. Damn. Okay. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Commonwealth Springs is the mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. Really? There's a total of 16 members here. 12 patch, 4 prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter, as well as of the whole club. I've been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? It used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but Boyks and the boy are a nuisance at best. What can you tell me about the Church of Not the Holy fan, Trinity? Right? Do I look like a pious man to you? I've peed on churches. I just figured I'd ask you about everything, man. This may be a weird question, but have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. That count? Nope, not really. You're not really that helpful. I don't need to show. Do you know what this is? Whoa. What? Do you recognize that? I saw one of those with my own eyes a few years ago. Really? Really? Where? Middle of the woods, the road of the city. Of course. Those things came from nowhere and gave me this crazy headache right on the plate in my head. At the time, I thought it was just a nasty case of migraine. You have a plate in your head? Yeah, titanium from a shrapnel wound I got in there. I see. Titanium isn't the least bit magnetic, is it? How the hell should I know? I'm no scientist. Do you remember where exactly on the road it happened? It's an interesting no. point. Like I said, I dismissed it as a migraine. Didn't pay too much attention as to where I was. Fair enough. Okay. What else can we ask you about? This key, hey, might bro, as well. Any idea of what this key opens? You ask weird questions, you know that? Wow, everyone, everyone is not a fan of the fucking key. I don't need to show it. What else can we even ask him? There doesn't seem to be anything else. All right, I'm going to hit the road. Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Bo. See you around. All right. Looks like it's good that I asked him all that I could up front. Because, uh... Brian's girl. What? Yeah? I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey, 
The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. I am all ears, buddy. Well, Bo and Brian are the double B's, as we used to call them. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have this drink together. Brian came up with it. He called it a bloodier Mary. Hmm, sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a Bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead of tomato juice. I take that back. Gross. That's, I think Bloody Marys are disgusting. <laughs> can, it's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive spice. So let me guess, if I can produce this drink for Bo, you think he would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian, which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. Wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. Well, how was that drink compared with a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper and had a punch to it. It usually gave some pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Pretty wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. Hmm. Hang on a second. All right, sorry about that. Um. I was looking over at my monitor uh, where the face came. There it is. There it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. Sometimes the green screen does this weird shit where it where it gets all grainy. I'm not sure why it does that. I mean, I've, I've had it set up this way for a long time. And it's only started doing that recently. I think it's because it's daytime right now and the light's changing outside. It drives me nuts. I've even got the window covered up. Anyway, uh, okay, so he said uh, an herb, right? And it's it's supposed to be red, so. Eileen gave me this. Let me it's read a this. Copy of a Here's an interest. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell. Pepper. Which is familiar Pepper. to the pollinated. Dude, we gotta go get that flower. A member of this motorcycle club. Should we talk to these guys? Probably not. A member of this. I'd rather just talk to their leader. Okay. He's the bartender here. Doesn't appear to be a club member. Just thought I'd to be look a around. Bit of a pool shark. Been a while, though. Not sure where that leads, but I don't think I have a reason to go in there. Yeah, no, I don't think you do either. Hey, bartender, do you happen to know how to make a bloodier Mary? You mean a bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not, I can make your regular bloody Mary, though, if you want. Maybe later. I need to figure something out. All right, then. All right, cool. Guess it's time to get out of here. What's this jukebox? 100% country music. Be still, my heart. Wait, do you like country music? Whew, out of order. My ears are safe. Oh. The Black Hats. I suppose the name comes from the old Western trope. Now I'm all paranoid. I'm looking over at my monitor like, is the, is the green screen film grain there? Man. I, I try to make my videos, you know, as professional quality as possible. I hate it when that shit happens. Okay, so, um, I think we need to bring this flower. That's what I think. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, uh, I really need to make a drink. I haven't seen that face before. Hi, squirrel! What happened? All right, let's leave. <laughs> I don't want to stick around here. We had that creepy encounter earlier with the red man. Okay, I got it. Oh, hey, Bo. You're here. Just hanging out, man. You're about to get real drunk. Bo Brunson, the acting president of the Black Hats. We don't want to talk to him yet. It's a specimen of that red scythe flower. Yeah, it smells like pepper. I think this is what I need for the bloodier mare. Thank you. OK. 
Uh, do you I know? I like a Bloody Mary. Coming right up. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. Put the entire flour in there, huh? Interesting. One Bloody Mary. Enjoy. Yeah, drink Thanks, it. buddy. The club will cover that, Jose. Sure thing, VP. Oh, Thanks he's again, the right? vice president. You got it. I don't have anything else to ask him. Oh, you're just gonna use him and lose him, huh? All right. It's a uh, bloodier Mary, I think. Here's hoping it can make Bo a bit more cooperative. Okay. Yeah, don't drink it. There you go, Bo. Hey, Bo. I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Are you gonna tell me about yeah. the art theft then? Yeah. So here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job. I knew it! Club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I devised against him. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Well, you didn't. Got it. So what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Spirit? No, Church? no, his dad. Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that much. What? Expo, I'm going to follow up on this right away. If it was Isaac, Isaac. You're not going to ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious? I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President. Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. Mm -hmm. That day went by fast. I think I'm going to ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Oh, we're done with day three? Day four coming up! Suckers. Oh no, is Grandma gone? There's a reason we're here. Where's Grandma? Oh, she's there. Hello, <laughs> sweetheart. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, Grandma, it got kind of late. Would it be okay if I stay the night? Of course, dear. Have a seat. I'll make you something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Okay, good. Achievement unlocked. We've met before, haven't we? That's what the red man said to me. Lucy? What? Lucy? What? You are both unwanted, both discarded. Good. Lick the flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. What the hell is go- Lily's painting, burning, and the kid from the cemetery. It's gotta mean something. Did you fucking see him in the window? Looks like the rain finally stopped. What a creeper! I didn't know this game was gonna be so creepy. Man, uh, point and click adventure games can be really creepy when they want to. There's just something about it. I don't know what it is. This paint looks fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
Good morning. Hi, Eileen. What? What? Uh, morning. This is. Wow, this is quite the surprise. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a sec outside, alone? Okie dokie, if your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by yourself for a while. Sure. You go ahead, children. I'll be oh, she right changed. Here if you need me. Oh, gra Grandma changed uh, dresses. So she's wearing a blue one now. Okay. Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday then. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. Uh-huh, what'd you First find? First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. Makes sense. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Sounds so smug. Oh, that's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous. Over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. So, I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. Your copy? I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. You know that's a sin, right? Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Are we really going to trust Eileen with this? I mean, I like her, but she could be pulling some funny business.